Members of the Snowbell Chapter of MBSI welcome you to the 67th Annual MBSI Convention to be held in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The dates are Wednesday, August 31st to Saturday, September 3rd, just before Labor Day. Mark your calendars now. Our host hotel, the Marriott Downtown Minneapolis, is located right in the center of downtown. The hotel is within a few blocks of hundreds of shops, restaurants, sidewalk cafes, and other attractions. Nicollet Mall, a pedestrian mall that runs through the entire downtown, is just around the corner. Just across the street from the hotel, take a photo with the Mary Tyler Moore statue as she tosses her beret in the air, seen by millions every week on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Also within walking distance of the hotel are Target Field, the home of the Minnesota Twins, and the Theater District. Of course, the convention will include everything you would expect from a great MBSI experience, beginning with the collection tours on Wednesday and Thursday. Hi, I'm Carol. And I am Ralph Schultz. Welcome to our collection. The Schultz's collection is quite eclectic and includes not only various musical instruments, but working miniature steam engines, clocks, and a variety of posters. Ralph has built or restored nearly everything you will see and hear. He is a well-respected restorer of musical boxes and well known for making Mills Violanos sound as good or better than when they left the factory. Ralph always has a twinkle in his eye with another great story to tell. You will certainly leave with a smile. Hello and welcome to Minnesota. My name is Phyllis Kubi Crawford. I'm Lawrence Crawford and this is the collection of F.R. and Esther Crawford, founding members of the Musical Box Society. The Crawfords have a musical box collection, assembled beginning in the 1940s by Lawrence's parents. This collection includes many very rare boxes and clocks. As a special treat, Ron Rode from Phoenix, Arizona will provide a concert on the Crawford's Wurlitzer 324 Theater Organ, originally from the Homewood Theater right here in Minneapolis. Hello, I'm Tom Keen. Welcome to the Keen Organ and Orchestrian Works. Tom began by building a replica Wurlitzer 105 band organ 25 years ago. Since then, numerous instruments needing TLC have been restored and added to the collection. Visit the workshop where the restoration magic is performed. Although the early focus was on American and European organs, the collection now includes pianos and orchestrians, with names such as Mason and Hamlin, Popper, Seberg, Weber, Koinola, and Paul Loesch. The setting is in a mature oak forest on the shores of beautiful Long Lake. Charlie. And I will. We look forward to having you. 
Bill and Stacy have an impressive collection of organs focusing on European dance and fair organs. Those of you who have visited before will be pleasantly surprised by several recent additions. Bill will also explain and demonstrate how old, worn-out music books are scanned to archive the information and replacement book music is fabricated on-site. This has resulted in an impressive collection of book music. Interested in more than organs? Check out the horse stables and indoor riding arena, or take a ride on the train or other amusement park rides on the site. Following the collection tours, attend the workshops on Friday to learn new ideas and techniques and enjoy the awards luncheon. There will be numerous opportunities to make new friends and renew acquaintances. The Mart on Saturday is where you will find your latest treasure, piano roll, music box disc, book, and nearly everything else associated with our hobby. The day concludes with a traditional banquet. The entertainment will be provided by Butch Thompson, one of the best classical jazz musicians in the country. Butch has appeared many times on Prairie Home Companion and hosts a weekly radio show that focuses on the history of jazz. Now a word about Minneapolis, our host city. Minneapolis is located at the site of St. Anthony Falls, the only significant waterfall along the entire length of the mighty Mississippi River. The water power was used to power flour mills in Minneapolis, so the city became known as the Mill City, the flour milling capital of the world, with brand names such as Gold Medal, Pillsbury, and Robin Hood. Take a tour of the Mill City Museum, owned and operated by the Minnesota Historical Society. Adjacent to the museum, also overlooking St. Anthony Falls, is the newly constructed, world-famous Guthrie Theater, started by Tyrone Guthrie. Additional attractions all within the Minneapolis city limits are the Minneapolis Institute of Arts, the Walker Art Museum, and numerous public parks. One of the parks contains Minnehaha Falls, made famous by Longfellow's poem, The Song of Hiawatha. Minneapolis is also known as the City of Lakes because of several lakes within its boundaries. All are connected via an intricate parkway system of roads and trails. For another adventure, take the light rail, accessible two blocks from the hotel to the end of the line. The world-famous Mall of America awaits you. Here, you can literally shop till you drop. Looking for entertainment? Check out the nightclubs and theaters on the mall's upper level. Of course, no visit to the Mall of America is complete without a stop at Nickelodeon Universe Amusement Park. Minnesota is known for its various summer festivals. The largest of them all, the Minnesota State Fair, the Great Minnesota Get-Together, will be in full swing during your stay. The fair costs only $13 for admission and includes everything you would expect in a Great Midwest Fair and much, much more. Remember, Wednesday, August 31st to Saturday, September 3rd in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Welcome. 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 The Snowbelt Chapter welcomes you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Don't miss the fun.